The plan was to kill as many people as possible. As thousands gathered for a tree lighting in Portland's Pioneer Square, 19-year-old Mohammed Osman Mohammed allegedly parked a van at the corner, attempting to detonate what he thought was a bomb. The threat from him was very, very real. All the information that we have up to this point is that he acted alone. But according to the Justice Department, the public was never at risk. A Somali-born U.S. citizen had been given a fake bomb by undercover agents in a months-long FBI sting. Preventing someone with what looks like clear criminal intent uh, to, to do harm. Mohammed had been under surveillance since 2009 when he was communicating with someone in the northwest frontier of Pakistan, a known terrorist haven. He had published articles in two jihadist magazines. One recommended exercises for getting in physical shape for jihad, and he made it clear he was looking to commit an act of terrorism in the United States. Undercover FBI agents claiming to be friends of the Pakistani associate contacted him in June of this year. According to an FBI affidavit, Mohammed chose Portland because they don't see it as a place where anything will happen. Agents told him children would be at the tree lighting ceremony, but Mohammed was unmoved. I want whoever is attending that event to leave, to leave either dead or injured, he said. This is an issue that obviously rattles all of us. Mohammed meticulously planned his attack, down to the parking spot he wanted to use for maximum impact. He purchased bomb-making materials, but the FBI agents assembled a fake bomb. They repeatedly asked if he wanted to go through with it. It's going to be a fireworks show, he told them. In fact, nothing happened. After attempting to detonate the bomb twice using his cell phone, he was arrested, kicking agents and screaming, Allah Akbar, or God is great. He now faces charges of attempting to use a weapon of mass destruction, charges which carry a maximum sentence of life in prison. Jeff? Uh, so Terry, you mentioned he was under surveillance when he made these calls to Pakistan. Do we know why he was put under surveillance in the first place? Apparently last year, someone in the Muslim community in Portland contacted law enforcement, said they thought this teenager was becoming too radicalized. After that, the FBI started looking at his email, and that was when they discovered his interest in jihad and attacking Americans. Jeff? All right, Terry McCarthy from Los Angeles tonight. Terry, thank you.